Greetings, children. My name is Linda, and I am going to tell you a story. It happened long ago and far away, and children, this story is true. It is the story of a little boy, someone about the age of many of you. Now, he had a father who loved him very, very much, and one day his father said, Son, I want to buy you a present. His father was really, really old, older than me. And so he went and he took lots of treasure, lots of money, and he bought for his son the most beautiful robe. He had it custom made. You see, he bought the finest fabrics, things that most people would never expect to get to wear. He bought the finest cloth that money could buy. And then he gave his son a most beautiful coat, a coat of many colors. And when his son saw it, he said, I like it, I like it, I like it. But his brothers, not so much. They looked at that coat and they said, who does he think he is? We're older, we should have gotten that coat. And they began to hate their brother. Now, children, there's so little bit more about this boy you need to know. You see, he was special. He had his eyes on God. This boy was a dreamer. He dreamed all kinds of things. He dreamed of corn growing in the fields. And in his dream, all of the corn did something kind of crazy. It bowed down to him. And then he dreamed of stars in the sky. And all of the stars in the sky bowed down to him. And he thought, corn, stars, what's it mean? Oh, I know, I know. It means all my brothers will bow down to me. And he told them, oh, this is really getting to be bad because now they were very, very upset. And they decided that they needed to get rid of him. And one brother wanted to kill him. But don't worry, children. The other brother said, no, no, no. He said, I have a better idea. We need to sell him. And then we can take all the money we get from selling him as a slave, and we can have a party, yeah! And that's what they decided to do. But now they had two problems. First problem, children, what were they gonna tell their father? He loved his son, he would always look for him. So they came up with what they thought was a perfect idea. They took their brother's beautiful coat, because as one brother said, Nobody has a coat like our brother's coat. And they killed a goat. And they put the blood of the goat on the beautiful coat. And then one brother went to see father. And he said, I am a great liar. Actor, actor. And this is what he said. Oh, father. Oh, oh, ah. oh, 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 oh. And when his father heard this, he thought, oh, no. My son, my son, he's been eaten by a great, big, ferocious beast. Rawr! All right, children, I'm going to stop for a second and let you growl with me. Let me hear you. Mm, that sounded a little bit like a large cat, but I'll take it. All right, children, you keep practicing that growl. Now, you're smart. You listen well. So you remember that I told you they had two problems. One, they had to convince their daddy was dead so he wouldn't look for him. They got that one done. And two, where do you sell a brother? Well, where they lived, it was so very hot. And so they thought, all right, we've got to find a place that's really, really nice and shady. Some place where people will stop, get a cool drink of water, they can look at our brother. Yeah, that, that's what we need. So they looked all around until they found just the right place. 
It was exactly the kind of place they were looking for. Because you see, children, it had some nice dunes there in the sand, and there were some trees growing. Trees are always good on a hot summer's day. There's not a better place to be than under the shade of a nice, cool tree. And they thought, yeah, this is good. Just the kind of place we're looking for. And those trees were really, really big. Now, children, there were some other things about this spot that made it absolutely perfect. Well, for one, there was a nice, cool stream. And everyone loves a drink on a hot day. And because there was this lovely stream, there were some little spots of grass growing here and there. Some place nice where you could sit down. But it had one more thing they really, really loved. It had a great big hole in the ground. And you can guess what they did. They threw their brother into that hole. And it was very, very deep. And he was in the hole yelling, please, please let me out. It's so very hot in here. Oh, please let me out. The children, they didn't care. All they could think about was that they were going to have a party. That's all they thought about. After a while, a man came riding along on a camel. He took that boy and he drug him far away. Now, many years went by and things got a little better for this young man. He became the slave in a nice man's house. He was still a slave, but the guy was nice. But his wife, she was terrible. And she thought that she was beautiful. And one day she said to Joseph, that's his name, come here, Joseph. And he said, no, 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 because his eyes were on God. And she wouldn't stop. So finally, all he could do is run away. And he ran away as fast as he could. But she lied about him. And everyone believed her because she was rich. She was powerful. And suddenly... Hmm. Suddenly... Hurts my ears, but not the sound I want. Ah. Suddenly! Wait, children. Wait, don't give up. I have more ideas. Suddenly! Well, I do have one last good idea. I sure hope this works. Because we need to find out what happened to this young man. So, suddenly! Everyone thought he'd done something wrong, and so they threw him into prison. Children, it was terrible for him. It was so, so bad. And then one day, after being there for way, way too long, all of a sudden, the most incredible thing happened. Because, you see, the king of Egypt heard about him. But children, he wouldn't have worn a crown like this. He would have worn something like this. And the Pharaoh looked at Joseph, and this is what he said. You are a good man. I want you to work for me. Wow. Not what we were expecting, huh, children? So the Pharaoh gets Joseph out of prison. And things just get better and better and better. Because now they give him his own palace. He is a very wealthy, important man. In fact, he's put in charge of all the food in the kingdom. And if you want to eat, you have to come see Joseph. So one day he's sitting in his throne. It's a very nice throne. And some men come to see him. These men 
have traveled very, very far. They're probably tired, they're hot. And we see this very important looking guy sitting up on the throne. And they're like, wow, you know, we, we better get down on our knees because he looks important. So they got down on their knees and they said, please, please, please give us food. Our families are starving. We have no one else to ask. Now, children, who do you think these men are? His brothers. You're right, children. It is his brothers. You see, God says things and they always happen. God never lies. And God knew that this was what was to happen. So he told Joseph about it a long time before. And when Joseph saw his brothers, you know what? He had an opportunity. He was in charge. He was a great and powerful man. He could do anything he wanted to to them. He could make them pay. They were his family. They'd been unkind to him. They hadn't taken care of him. And he forgave them. What? Why would he forgive them? Because, children. He had his eyes on God. Now, children, I love this story, and we can be like Joseph. Yes, children, Joseph had a beautiful coat, and he was a dreamer. He dreamed of corn in the fields, and he dreamed of stars in the sky. Many terrible things happened to him, but always he kept his eyes on God, and one day he did become a ruler in Pharaoh's court. Children, God took care of Joseph. God wants to take care of you. You see, that's why he sent Jesus. Jesus is love. Jesus is hope. Jesus is forgiveness. If you ask Jesus to rescue you and God to forgive you, then you'll be forgiven. Your heart will be full of love and you can forgive others. God is the one who hung the stars in the sky. God is light. Jesus is light. Children, remember the story of the boy with the beautiful coat. And now, one last picture to help you remember how you can be like Joseph. If you want a heart that is full of love, well, first, you've got to do something about this great big problem. The thing is, you and I can't actually do anything about that. Children, we can't fix a broken heart. Only God can do that. That's why he sent Jesus. Because he saw that every one of us had a broken heart. And that there was nothing we could do to fix it. But Jesus could pour his love on us. Jesus could change us from the inside out. So children, I hope that's what you'll decide to do. I hope that you will decide to put your trust in Jesus. Ask God to forgive you. Ask Jesus to rescue you. And then Jesus will be your king. He'll help you know in life whether to go to the right or to the left. And God will be your father. And God is a good father, children. So you remember this story. And more than anything, you'll be forgiven so that you can forgive others. Thank you, children. Trust Jesus.